The best cottage you can get is uh, a lakefront. Okay. Second, you know, it's um, to have four four seasons instead of three seasons. I explain you later yeah, what, you what's, explain the what's the what's difference. What's the difference? The season, Third, yes. to have uh, having a four season that means you know you can run during the um, the winter time. Mm -hmm. So you increase your vacancy rate per year, which you know makes sense to earn more money. And then um, if let's say that cottage is close to um, you know, snowmobile, uh, snowmobile uh, trails um, uh, to um, mm. a ski resort okay. or some um, or on that lake, um, you know, they allow the ice fishing or different kind of, activities, you know, uh, uh, winter yeah. activities. Mm. Then you weeks ago we start a conversation regarding the cottages mm -hmm. and I think it's a great time because I know it's February but uh, probably the best time when to start thinking maybe to invest and we're thinking cottages sometimes and if you can and I know you have a not the knowledge not the expertise but you also have a recent experience buying an investment uh, yes right? myself i purchased a cottage like an investment mm -hmm. so all the time you have to see what your buyer engine is doing yes. just to be sure that uh, <laughs> he's doing the same thing that he's preaching so exactly. i can preach that uh, to you dear you know potential client um, because i want you to be informed mm -hmm. and to, to all the pros and cons owning a cottage and what kind of benefits you have exactly and what yes. kind of investment it is and you know the costs for that and you know all the from a to z i hope i will cover all the um all the questions uh, today if not then we can continue it yeah, another we can. another and, uh, um, we, another we time. encourage people to ask questions that they want to um, find more information but um starting with the beginning how we decide for the location or how we decide a cottage is a good investment um, yeah, good question. Um, <laughs> you know, a few years, like, I don't know, a few uh, long time ago, you know, uh, in Toronto, let's say, if you want to make an investment to have a positive cash flow, it was possible. But uh, uh, each property has a potential, you know, potential positive cash flow. Now, this time, because the, the, the you know, the, the prices of all the properties around GTA and all in all Ontario, they went up significantly. Yes. Um, the raise, they went up too, but they didn't keep up with the same uh, raise. In other words, just few properties, uh, on f just on few properties in Toronto for a long term. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm talking about long term rental. You can have a pot, uh, like a positive cash flow. In most of the cases, it's a negative cash flow. So the, the you know the, the the landlords they has they're supposed to put another you know few hundred uh, dollars per month in order to yeah. uh, to balance the costs. You know for because uh, you know usually if, let's say it's it's a condo. You have to add the maintenance, the taxes. You know, and all the extra expenses to mm -hmm. keep to keep that condo up, um, and then the, whatever it is, whatever the, the tenant pays you. But in some cases, they not cover all, all the costs. All the costs. So, so well, for this reason, mm -hmm. you know, um, now makes sense more and more to buy, uh, you know, an, uh, a property for an Airbnb or VRBO or you know, like a short-term uh, rental mm -hmm. that make more sense. Okay. For two reasons. One. You have a, a better, you know, average, uh, you know, um, um, night, uh, nightly um, um, uh, rates, uh, rates yes. uh, than in a normal, in a long mm. term. Second, you are not bounded by the uh, the, the landlord uh, tenant laws mm. in the, in that particular in area in Ontario, in Ontario especially, yeah, especially yeah, in Ontario, exactly. where if you let's say if you rent for a long term, um, the tenants they have much more right. rights than if they uh, you know rent an rbb or short term Absolutely, so yes. you have to be sure so because of that so many clients of mine because they used to have problems with the tenants they didn't pay on time mm. they did so many you know um, it was very hard for them uh, to uh, uh, you know to set uh, to get rid of them like mm. it's very hard very it hard is. so especially during the covid you know if the tenant said oh i you know i'm i'm sick or you know i yeah, can't i, I don't want to I, yeah i don't want you know because yeah. i lost because of the COVID, mm -hmm. stuff like that so a lot of lot of um, headaches from landlords mm -hmm. and some of them they said you know what i let's sell the property and buy another one and do just rbmb yeah. uh, there are other rules other of course there are pros and cons well, of course it's always and, um, cannot be just one it's and, always you know yeah. in a city 
you know, um, the Airbnb, you know, it's oversaturated. Let's say everyone, you know, especially in That's Toronto, um, you know, everybody's thinking to make some extra money with mm. the Airbnb. So they, um, they, um, uh, you know, some of them, they decide, okay, let's, uh, let's buy outside, you know, in the countryside, mm -hmm. especially when uh, the people, they, um, you know, they were f uh, forced to work, um, you know, like uh, from their homes. So they found a way to, you know, about um, to buy a cottage, nice, you know, and to rent part of it. Yes. Or, you know, to uh, rent, you know, all the cottage, let's say, uh, in a country area. Mm -hmm. um, now, uh, this is a smart way. So because all the time the people, they tend to go outside and then they feel great and they, they're willing to pay more money to uh, have a nice, a cozy location in the nature. If the cottage, for example, is not so far away from Toronto, mm -hmm. has a uh, high speed internet, um, has you know uh, you maybe know, a lake very even? easy on the lake yes <laughs> yeah. there there are two types uh, on the lake or mm. uh, just normal ones that mm -hmm. don't have a lake front um, usually it's better to buy on the lake because so many people they love to um, you know to rent on the lake you know they can fish they, they have a lot of ac extra activities yeah let's say. I think the um, lake itself makes a difference <laughs> yeah so uh, the best cottage you can get is uh, a lake front okay second you know it's um, to have four four seasons instead of three seasons i explain you later yeah, what, you what's, explain the what's the what's difference what's the difference third yes. to have uh, having a four season that means you know you can rent during the um, the winter time mm -hmm. so you increase your vacancy rate per year which you know makes sense to earn more money and then um, if let's say that cottage is close to um you know snowmobile uh, snowmobile uh, trails um uh, to um mm. a ski resort okay. or some um, or on that lake um you know they allow the ice fishing or different kind of activities, you know uh, uh, winter yeah. activities mm. then you can increase significantly you know the the interest, the, 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 yeah, yeah, the interest of the people and yes. automatically you um you have you are having much more money in your pocket in mm -hmm. the end of the day so the vacancy is lower mm -hmm. uh, now um uh, another good criteria so is to not be far away to be easy accessible uh, to be accessible by a public road this is uh, very important because let's say in some cases it's a yeah. private road and mm -hmm. uh, uh, that one comes with an extra cost per month or per winter month yeah. because someone has to blow the snow and to keep it um, you know um, functionable so that one is another another thing uh, other important thing so be a lakefront uh, potentially not on a private road um, and if let's say it's a lakefront uh, the best is to have a western view mm -hmm. so uh, because so many people they enjoy to see the sunset okay because uh, and that one is the the best the best um, i used to have a cottage and um, when i tried to sell it my first cottage like 10 years ago um, i realized that from the feedbacks of mm -hmm. the, the potential buyer agents they said the same thing and um, so the western explorer is the best Okay. Um, the only, th the only, let's say, downsides on th on this regard is that in Ontario, usually they are um, the winds. They are very powerful, and all the time they are coming from west. Mm -hmm. So if you have a west exposure, uh, you have to be sure that uh, the um, uh, boat house and all the accessories and you know they are very fixed, uh, like yeah. uh, uh, they're, they're very good um, in in a very good shape. Because if let's say a, a storm is coming, or mm. you know the first one that will be damaged will be you know the uh, boat houses. I saw so many uh, boat houses, um, you know, in um, in so many lakes here in Kawarta Lakes. I was uh, looking for some clients, and uh, some of the West Exposure one they had that those um, boat houses uh, at the ground. Uh, oh, wow. you know, just because was uh, it's so it's it's nice in one sense, but yeah. from you know, and then um, what's the difference between three season and four season? So mm -hmm. first of all, four season you can enjoy all the all the all, all, all the year um, especially if it's close to a ski resort, resort or yeah. you know some uh, winter activities mm. um, the three season one so usually you you can buy it for much cheaper like uh, to buy much cheaper and um, to upgrade from a three season to four season um, so you have to upgrade um, the um, you know heat source mm -hmm. so potentially it's better to have two kinds of heaters so for example you know to have a propane tank and also an electric uh, baseboard, you know, okay, to yeah. uh, just in case the propane, uh, the, the, the hydro is going down, you have a second chance Absolutely, to, yeah. um, you know, the propane thing mm. to work and uh, uh, to don't freeze during the, you know, the yeah. winter. Um, also, you have to upgrade the, uh, so that the cost from a three to uh, four season uh, ranges between, um, to change it, it ranges between uh, 5,000 to probably 50,000, depending what has to be done.